So, so REM is truly a game changer. Uh, it's lean data, uh, automated map creation uh, in the cloud. Let me show you some of under the hood of what we just uh, seen uh, while uh, I was driving with, uh, with Herbert. Uh, you see here in this uh, clip, as we are uh, driving, we are going to take a right. And this uh, rural road, uh, there are no lane marks. Now, the two uh, magenta lines are uh, the strength, central drivable uh, paths. You see there is one oncoming and, and one uh, the path that we are driving through. So without the map data, it would not have been possible to, uh, to do lane centering in this kind of uh, road. Either the car would not be, either technology would not be available or the car would center itself in the middle of the road, not being aware that there is also an oncoming, uh, an oncoming path. Another piece of uh, under the hood, while we're driving there, you see that there are traffic lights. Uh, the REM map technology can associate traffic lights with, uh, with drivable uh, paths. This is a very important feature, not yet available at, uh, in the Travel Assist 2.5, uh, where you can provide a very powerful customer uh, function to prevent cars from running a red light. Uh, it's not enough just to detect the red light, one needs to know the relevancy of each traffic light with a drivable uh, path, and this is also provided by, uh, by the map uh, data. You can see here just a top view of uh, one of the sections uh, in, that, uh, in that area, the richness of, uh, of the data, the accuracy uh, of the data. Uh, all, of that, all of this is really uh, a, a very, very strong amplification of what you can do both with driving assist and, and later with the autonomous uh, driving. If uh, we look at the, at the coverage, we have uh, 2.5 million kilometers of uh, road uh, covered in, uh, in, in Europe. Um, in terms of the amount of data collected in 2021, it's around uh, 4 billion kilometers of data being collected. Today, we have about 25 million kilometers of data every day, collected every day. So going forward to 2022, it's going to be around uh, 10, 10 billion kilometers of uh, data going forward for uh, 2022. You know, this kind of, uh, of data allows us to, uh, you know, efficiently expand our footprint in terms of autonomous vehicle uh, uh, testing into many different uh, territories, right? We're testing in Israel, we're testing in uh, Munich, Detroit, New York City, Tokyo, Paris. Uh, Tokyo, Paris is new. I'll, I'll show uh, a bit of uh, what we have. This is in, in Paris. Before I run the clip, this is a, a joint uh, cooperation with RATP uh, Group. It's a, public, a major public uh, transport uh, operator in, in France. Um, uh, Galerie Lafayette employees uh, can use the, the autonomous uh, test car with a safety driver, of course, uh, to uh, go from, uh, from the offices to, uh, to their home. And the application, the top layer application is powered by, uh, by MoveIt, uh, which is a, a company that we acquired about uh, about a year ago, so let me run this uh, this clip. It's a bit uh, fast forwarded, uh, but you can see the the richness of the of the driving uh, situation. You know, after all, it's Paris. Paris is very very difficult, uh, um, very difficult scene to uh, to drive in, even for a human uh, driver. And you can see the kind of uh, testing uh, we can do. Um, you know, the smoothness of uh, of the drive. Here is another uh, testing site in, uh, in Tokyo. I'll run this uh, clip. Again, you know, the, the, the richness of uh, pedestrians, the roads are, are narrow, uh, obstacles, you know, pedestrian uh, crossing zones, and, and, and so forth. So uh, you can see that you know, our, our REM data provides us geographic uh, scalability to allow us to do uh, testing really, really worldwide in a very, very efficient uh, manner.